Welcome to the Resistance. As a member of the Resistance, you should pride yourself on never compromising. We are fighting for a better future and can never give ground to the oppressor. We must stay true to our beliefs. Some of you might be considering compromising. Some say that incremental change can lead to a better future. To this, I say you are a traitor and just as bad as our oppressors. Incremental change can satiate you for further change and lead to the entrenchment of existing power structures. Small changes are merely the breadcrumbs the oppressor casts on our path to lead us away from our goals. I say reject those breadcrumbs. Reject sustenance of any kind. You should be starving for the revolution. Your only sustenance shall be the fire of fury you feel so you can gorge yourself on the bloated corpse that is the oppressive society we seek to destroy. And the occasional Taco Bell run. Taco Bell fuels the revolution. We must maintain our full demands that this entire oppressive society be destroyed. No compromises. No half measures. If the oppressor offers us universal health care, we will throw their free syringes back in their faces. If they ensure full representation in the electorate, we will ensure full representation of those holding pitchforks outside the homes of the oppressor. And if they dare give us universal basic income, I will personally spend all of it on Taco Bell and use all my invigorated energy to Baja blast the oppressor with the force of 10,000 bean burritos. If you, or any member of the Resistance, even considers compromise, you must end their membership in the Resistance immediately. If they reconsider, you may then whip them with your Resistance-mandated whips. Everyone should have these, by the way. They're really handy in riots or role-playing your cat wound. Flagellate yourselves for your compromise, you traitor to the cause! In fact, you know what? Even allowing someone back into the Resistance after a compromise is itself a compromise. I must be punished! Your assignment this week is to not buy any tacos.